Hello friends, can you see light through the wall? Of course not. But how you can use Wi-Fi behind the walls and how you can listen to radio behind the walls? Let's figure it out. As you know, our TV, mobile, Wi-Fi all use radio waves and convert them to mechanical vibrations in the speaker to create sound waves that can be heard. The first question is understanding the radio waves. Radio waves are used for long distance communication and for transmission of data. Radio waves have the longest wavelength in the electromagnetic spectrum. Now what is electromagnetic spectrum? The electromagnetic spectrum is the range of all types of electromagnetic radiations which are stream of massless particles called photons, each traveling in a wave-like pattern at speed of light. Different materials can have one of three effects on electromagnetic waves at different frequencies. First, they can absorb the wave. Second, they can alter the direction of wave. And third and last, they can allow the wave to pass through without any change. The radio and light wave are part of electromagnetic spectrum but are very different. Radio waves are much bigger than the light wave in terms of their wavelength. Radio waves are bigger than the size of atoms in a wall. That is why they go through it. To understand how visible light can pass through some materials, we can think of atoms in that material containing electrons with different energy level. You know as everything is made of atoms. So if wall is made out of glass, light and radio wave will go through it. If it is made up of wood or concrete, only radio wave can pass through it. But if the wall is made up of iron, neither radio wave nor light wave will go through it. Wow, it sounds complicated. So the main thing is structure of wall. It is important what the wall is made from, what kind of atoms and molecules are its constituents. Also, it is very important how these atoms in the wall are tied together. So when energy level of certain electron in an atom is same as energy level of light going through it, the light is absorbed and its energy is converted into heat. Wood has electrons that are arranged in such a way that their energy is same as energy of visible light. For this reason, wood absorbs visible light. And now take the example of clear glass. Clear glass does not have as many electrons with energy level that absorbs visible light. However, it does absorb frequencies slightly higher than visible light like ultraviolet and slightly below visible light that is infrared. If you add certain material to the glass, you can change the energy level of electrons in the glass. For example, if we add copper in the glass to absorb it absorb light in the red end of the visible spectrum. So the light passing through will tend to look blue. And if we add chromium to the glass, will cause it to absorb both red and blue energies of the light. And when you look through the glass, object will appear green since it is mostly the green light that is passing through. So we can say the atomic structure, especially the properties of electron shells of atoms in the wall state if that particular wall to be transparent or not for a certain type of electromagnetic wave subscribe and explore more at silu.com